Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we're going to look at an exercise where we're going to record the transaction in the uh, fund statement and we're going to record the same transaction in the government-wide financial statement. So we're going to see how do we record the transaction in the general, uh, in the governmental funds. Now we're going to, side by side, I'm going to have the transaction how we would record the transaction in the government-wide financial statement. So remember, the government-wide financial statements use the full accrual basis. The uh, governmental funds use the modified accrual basis. So I'm going to have two columns. Maybe I will do this on an Excel sheet. Oh, I'll just do it. That doesn't have to be on an Excel sheet. I'll just do it uh, right here. Um, and we'll do it side by side. Okay, let's start with the first transaction. Uh, this is the Preston Village. The village issued $20 million in bonds to purchase a new municipal office building. So what they did is they issued bond, they borrowed money. So first I'm going to do it under the modified accrual. Then side by side, I will do it side by side. This way you will see what's going on. Then I'm going to do full accrual, which is the government-wide financial statement. How would they record the transaction? Well. They issued 20 million in bonds to purchase the new building. So what 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 did they do? They did indeed receive 20 million dollar in cash. So under the modified accrual, they will debit cash 20 million, 20 million. Okay. And what would they credit? Well, bonds are other sources of revenues, and we're going to credit proceeds from bonds. And believe it or not, that's a, a revenue other revenue source, other revenue source under the modified accrual, which is the gover government, uh, the governmental fund. Okay. Now, and again, this is, we said, we're going to have this money in the capital project fund. So this is proceeds from bonds and capital project fund. So this money goes to that fund to, to do what? To build that, to build that building to build the new municipal building. Under full accrual, they're gonna debit cash, obviously under the full accrual, they're gonna debit cash, also 20 million. And what do you have under the full accrual? Well, you have a bonds and bond payable is a liability. So you credit bonds payable for 20 million. You have, you can carry long-term debt. So this is the first transaction. This is how you would record it under the governmental uh, financial statement, which is the fund. And this is under the government-wide the full accrual. Transaction two, it acquired the building for $20 million. Well, we basically we acquired the building. Now what we did is we paid cash 20 million. And what do we debit under the modified accrual? We credit cash, obviously 20 million, we paid cash. What do we debit? We debit an expenditure. Dash building, 20 million. The government is funny. How so? No, not funny. It's funny in a sense that uh, under the modified accrual, they do accounting like we do accounting, like on a personal level. W what do I mean by this? Let's assume you bought shoes, okay? Maybe shoes is a bad example. Let's assume you bought a jacket. I'll tell you why shoes is a bad example. When I buy a jacket, let's assume I paid $80 for it. It's a good catch. It was on sale. I, I bought a jacket, okay? And I'll tell you what happened. When I buy a jacket, a jacket would last me usually three to four years. I just, that's the only thing that lasts me more than one, more than six months, okay? So when I buy a winter jacket and where I live in Pennsylvania, it's not Chicago, but it's, we have brutal winters, but uh, it lasts me three to four years. So basically the jacket, in a sense, it's an asset. But when I buy the jacket, I don't say I'm buying an asset. I would say this is an expenditure. I, I'm spending money and it's an expenditure. That's how the government treat their expenditure. Now, why did I why did I take take back shoes? Because when I buy shoes, I usually destroy them very quickly. I, they would last me six to twelve months, and not likely they don't they don't end up they, they don't last a year with me. So that's why I took out the shoes example so, so this is how the government works say so they, they bought the building they did not consider it an asset under their uh, their the, the government uh, governmental fund statement they consider it as an expenditure now under the full accrual under the government wide financial statement yes they will debit an asset called building we do have the building so they will debit the building because they bought the building 
they will debit the building for 20 million and they will credit cash for 20 million so they do treat it as an asset under the government-wide financial statement so yes under the full accrual it is truly an asset it is truly an asset okay it's treated as an asset okay but the government function like when we buy personal items we bought them we consider them expenses or expenditure transaction three the village recognizes as appropriate 300,000 of depreciation on the municipal vehicles all right let's first do the modified accrual what do we do under the modified accrual and the answer is nada we don't have long-term asset if we don't have long-term asset we don't have depreciation under the government-wide financial statement yes we do have the asset therefore we have depreciation expense how much was it 300,000 and that's for vehicles so we so depreciation expense 300,000 and we credit accumulated depreciation dash vehicle 300,000 so we do we do we do record depreciation obviously under the full accrual the village transferred 2 million and 60,000 from the general fund to the debt service fund now you have to be careful when we have a transfer between funds we have two entries to make an entry to take the money out and an, an entry to bring the money in so let's do first the under the modified accrual or under the governmental fund statement well we're gonna have to debit first in the general fund because first of all the general fund cash is leaving the general fund so two million sixty thousand is leaving the general fund and what we do is we debit um, operating transferred out or transfer out I'm just gonna call it transfer out transfer out to that service so we transfer the money out to that service we're gonna debit this account and we credit cash well that's the general fund we're not done yet now the debt fund received the money the debt fund will debit cash two million sixty and they will credit transfer in from general fund because that's where the money is coming from 2 million 60. now the question is what do we do under the government-wide financial statement well think about it under the government-wide financial statement what happened is nothing really happened because what's going to happen at the end of the year when we prepare the government-wide financial statement we're gonna we're gonna debit this and credit this okay and by doing so we don't do anything so and notice the cash is a debit the cash is a credit basically the cash cancel itself out what's left is a debit transferred out credit transferred in we're going to reverse them and get them out of the way so nothing will appear on the government-wide financial statement okay because the transaction between the two fund it paid an interest it paid sixty thousand dollar in interest on long-term debt and repaid two million of principal on the long-term debt so now they're paying back the debt how do we account for this under the uh the government the uh the fund accounting which is modified accrual and how do we account for it under governmental remember under fund accounting everything is an expenditure all the payment are an expenditure so expenditure so we're gonna have an expenditure dash interest for sixty thousand just for so we have to record the interest sixty thousand we have to debit expenditure too dash principal or bond whatever you want to call it but it's the principal we're paying the principal of two million and we credit cash two million how do we account to this under the government wide financial statement remember the government wide financial statement what do they use they use accrual accounting and hopefully we know this we're going to debit interest expense sixty thousand notice it's an expense not an expenditure okay we're going to debit bonds payable because we're going to be reducing we're paying off the bond two million and obviously we credit cash for two million 60 and here we credit cash 2 million 60 not only 2 million okay so this is how do we account for it under the modified accrual and under the full accrual basis the village sold 5 million 
village land that had been acquired for four million the proceeds were recorded in the general fund so we sold a land that's worth four million for five million how do we record this transaction under the modified accrual and under the full accrual well under the modified accrual basically all what we do is we received cash so we're going to credit cash five million and we're going to debit proceeds from sales five million that's it this is under the under the modified accrual or governmental funding well under the full accrual we're going to debit cash five million we're going to credit land because we have the land on the books under the government wide credit the land and we have a gain of one million and hopefully we all know, know how to do this basically we recorded a gain on the land and this is what we did we um we we uh we we record the transaction including a gain gain on sale gain on sale all right so we did the transaction so we did a and b c how can government justify preparing two sets of financial statements each on a different basis well we have to remember the modified accrual has a different objective than the full accrual the full accrual is for the government wide the government wide the government wide they want to show you all the assets that's 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 what they're showing you all the assets including long term and short term so the focus is on all assets under the modified accrual what you care about is only short term assets short term liabilities modified accrual okay and that's why you would use two, two different methods but remember when we prepare the government wide financial statements we're, we'll, we'll show the big picture okay so that's why we use one method for uh, for the governmental funds because the purpose is for accountability and it's modified accrual is a better measurement for accountability rather than the full accrual the full accrual is showing you the big picture okay so remember modified accrual deals with more with budgetary compliance so we're looking at short-term assets short-term liabilities money in money out throughout the year for for a specific purpose full accrual we're looking at the whole picture at the whole government-wide financial statement okay and hopefully this exercise um kind of re reinforce what we did earlier throughout this chapter how to account for transactions but here what we did is we did it basically on the under the modified accrual basis and under the full accrual basis so hopefully now this is getting better if you have any questions any comments by all means email me or see me in class